Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Chromebook maintenance. Let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Chromebook maintenance. Uh, every now and then your Chromebook will malfunction. So what can you do about that? Well, of course, that does depend on what is wrong with it. And the ail ailments of Chromebooks can vary considerably. Uh, so we won't be able to cover all of them, but I'm going to try to cover some of the ones that I see the most. Good place to start with uh, troubleshooting any device, in, really, is the power button. If your device is frozen and not responding to any input, let's say the screen is on, uh, uh, or, or maybe it's black, you can try holding down the power button for 10 seconds, which will power cycle the device. Now, uh, finding that power button can be difficult as they have uh, moved it around over the years, right? Uh, increasingly, it seems like they're wanting to put it on the side of the device, so check out the side. Uh, but, you know, traditionally it's more in the keyboard section of your of your Chromebook. Okay, so you have power cycled your device and still there's something wrong, but you are able to interact with your device. So for those of you who are still able to move your mouse around, type, what, whatever, uh, what do you do? Well, let me take you on over to my Chromebook. Okay, so uh, what you first need to do is sign out of all of your accounts and you will be on a screen such as this. If you, if somebody else has signed into your Chromebook, you don't, you can't have them sign out of it, then you should be able to force sign them out in the upper section of this um, window that pops up after you uh, hit this tray in the lower right hand corner. Now, once you've done that, you, everybody's logged out, you can uh, press the keys Control Shift Alt uh, R, so that again, that is control, I'm sorry, sorry, I should start with shift, control, alt, R, shift, control, alt, R, you will be met with this window, which will sometimes, will typically say power wash, or sorry, restart here. And uh, that will, when you hit that, the Chromebook will restart, and then it will present you with this window, which is the actual power washing of the device. Uh, something to bear in mind is that your data will not be lost in this process. Uh, mo most data that uh, Chromebook uses, for instance, your documents, your pictures, your presentations, whatever, are st stored on the cloud. So yes, sometimes we download pictures onto our Chromebooks. However, those, uh, those pictures uh, uh, are still on the cloud, uh, but do bear that in mind in case you have deleted your online copy. Okay, last thing. Let's say that the screen on your Chromebook will not show an image. However, you do see lights uh, around, somewhere around on the device showing that it is indeed maybe on or charging. What you can do, uh, well, first let me uh, describe the anatomy of a screen you have in the very back, you have a light, right? And then, and then the next layer, if you will, is something that generates an image. So of course the light shines through that image uh, allowing you to see. And so quite, um, it's not uncommon for that what's called backlight to go out. And so what I'll do is I'll take my cell phone, turn on the lamp and hold it up against the screen. What I'm trying to do is get light in past the image layer to bounce off the back and show me uh, whether uh, which like which layer is malfunctioning. And I apologize about the bells. And so in doing this, you should be able to see some uh, semblance of your original screen where maybe you have a login or whatnot. Uh, the other thing that you can uh, check is holding down the power button uh, and watching to see if the, the screen flickers or gets darker or lighter. Um, if the screen, if the display is working but the backlight is not, you should still be able to see it get darker and lighter. 
uh, once you have uh, identified whether it is the backlight or not, what can you do about it? Well, that ultimately comes down to taking the back off or taking this uh, this display area <coughs> screen part apart. In which case, you probably well, I you can do it honestly. You really can. I would highly recommend you look up a YouTube video on how to do it so you don't break the little plastic uh, and find all the hidden screws. But uh, in in that case, it's an issue of disconnecting and reconnecting some connector that has probably come undone or has just broken contact with the uh, with its uh, mate connector. So uh, that is just some brief basics on how I like to tackle uh, Chromebook issues. And uh, uh, there you go. If you have any problems, of course, uh, let me know and I will help you as much as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hope to see you next week.